Pongyongsa is a temple nestled in Kwangyo Mountain in the city of Suwon, Gyeonggi Province. Founded in 1208 by the National Patriarch Monk Wonggak Kuksa during the reign of Goryeo King Hijong, Pongyongsa is the oldest Buddhist temple in Suwon and holds precious cultural treasures such as the Stone Buddha Triad, altar portrait paintings of Buddha, and others. There is a rich history and culture interwoven in the temple. Also, Pongyongsa is the world's first temple that also has a graduate school of Buddhist Vinaya studies called the Diamond Vinaya Institute that has become a cradle of ascetic training for Buddhist nuns. Pongyongsa, like that, is a school of Buddhist Vinaya studies called the Diamond Vinaya Institute that has become a cradle of ascetic training for Buddhist nuns. Pongyongsa, like that, is 어, 한국에서 비군이 사찰로서 최초로 스님들이 수계식을 할수 있는 어, 금강 계단이 있기 때문에 비군이 스님들 도량에서 어, 계단을 갖고 있는 데는 봉용사밖에 없습니다. In 1974, Pongyongsa established the Sunga University that has graduated over 1,000 Buddhist scholars in the last 40 years. The temple's graduate school has also produced many scholars in Buddhist Vinaya theology. After joining the temple in 1971, Venerable Myoum played a key role in establishing Bongyongsa as a leading religious institution in Suwon and also introducing Buddhist courses for Buddhist nuns. In 1979, Venerable Myoum became the abbess of Pongyongsa and while also holding the dual position as dean of Pongyongsa Sunga University. In 2009, she started the first temple food festival. Even after the Parinirvana of the Venerable Myoum, Pongyongsa followed her legacy by spreading awareness of Korea's temple food and striving to attain enlightenment. Currently, Pongyongsa is led by head nun Chayun, who established the Temple Food Educational Center to promote temple food further. Cooking classes are open to the public and are taught by Venerable Sonje, a very accomplished temple food cook. <laughs> Through such efforts, Pongyongsa tries to make the general public aware that traditional temple food is very healthy. After starting the first cooking courses last year, they have been fully booked by eager participants wanting to learn temple food recipes. Many non-Buddhists have signed up for the classes as well. 간단하면서도 또 깊은 맛을 낼수 있으니까 좋은 것 같아요. 식구들. 가족들의 건강, 또 저희의 건강을 좋아질 것 같아서 배우기 시작했습니다. The quiet Pongyongsa is starting to bustle with activity. And it's because the temple's World Temple Food Festival will be starting today. Everyone is welcome regardless of their religious beliefs, and the festival has been a great success over the past six years in touting the merits of temple food. Tasting all natural flavors in a peaceful and tranquil Buddhist temple. Many of the festival participants find temple food to be flavorful with a clean aftertaste. 우리가 이 사는 데는 그 뭐라 조미료라 그러나 그런 게 들은 맛이라 그럴까 거기에 저희들은 익숙해져 있잖아 이 사찰에 오면은 무공에다가 자연 그대로 만드는 음식 그런 맛이에요. In Korean style temple food, five spicy ingredients, which include garlic, scallions, and wild chive, are never used in temple food. Meat is also forbidden. Following these food preparation rules. 
A special seven-side dish meal prepared by Venerable Chigyun was offered to the public, and it was popular among adults and children alike. During the festival, there was a temple food contest where non Buddhists could also enter and compete against Buddhist priests. These temple food entries were made with great dedication. The contest participants came up with creative recipes that were observant of Buddha's teachings while also exemplifying the purity of Buddhism. The colorful dishes were also highly presentable. They were delectable on all levels and grabbed everyone's attention. Very interesting for us because it's totally different from my cuisine. And um, for me it's very, like, I'm, would like to try it all, but at the moment here I can only just see it. The thing is, we actually arrived only 10 or 15 minutes before, but um, I'm very impressed because it's my first time in Asia, and it's my first time when I'm seeing so many, so many meals around me, and I'm pretty excited and pretty interested because it's like completely different culture, completely different things, and yeah, I'm really excited to see to have an opportunity to see all of this. Since last year, Hongyongsa has made the Temple Food Festival an international event. Invitations were extended to Buddhist monks from different countries to introduce their temple food dishes. And monks from 11 countries accepted the invite and came to Hongyongsa. Buddhism has three regional sects. China, Korea, and Japan comprise the Mahayana Buddhism, also known as Northern Buddhism, while Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Thailand, and a few other Southeast Asian nations form the Theravada Buddhism, also known as the Southern Sect. Tibet and its neighboring countries are followers of Vijrayana Buddhism. In China, Japan, and Taiwan that fall in the Northern Sect of Buddhism, they have temple food that share many commonalities with Korea's temple food. Like Korea, they also forbid the use of oshinche, or five spices, such as scallions, garlic, wild chive, chives, and asafoetida. Only light seasoning is used. Depending on the order of the Buddhist sect, there are some slight differences in the recipes, but they all follow the spirit of Buddha and asceticism. Shojin the southern sect of Buddhism developed with an emphasis on ascetic training. So begging for alms with a bowl is how every meal is eaten, which is a traditional way of consuming food from the Buddha's time. The practice of begging for alms has continued in the southern sect where monks must accept any food offered to them by Buddhist followers without being discriminating. Thus, eating meat is allowed. Usually we are going to uh, alms giving for the village and they uh, gave us some foods to eat and so we don't have any choice to, uh, this is not food, this is good food. We eat any food and we can eat any food. Uh, people will come to the temple and offer food or uh, in every morning in Thailand or in uh, our neighbor countries. Monks go for arms in the morning and people can come to the temple and offer food. Vijrayana Buddhism is especially prevalent in Tibet where the temple food is quite different from that from the northern and southern sects of Buddhism. 
Monks that follow Vijrayana Buddhism live in high altitudes where vegetables are rare and precious. So the traditional temple foods in Tibet consist of noodles and bread. India has been invited to the festival for the first time this year and they presented rice milk porridge as their temple food. Nettle soup, which was once eaten by Chetsan Milarepa, the most famous and profound yogi in the Himalayas, was also presented at the festival. The monks and nuns from different parts of the world became busy all of a sudden. They were getting ready to beg for alms, and the monks performed this each in their local style. Begging for alms is an act of lifting the begging bowl. This is also a symbol that monks depend on donations and food to live. This is not simply an act of begging, but one type of ascetic training. By begging for food, monks relinquish any obstinacy and pride while practicing non-possessiveness and unselfishness. This is the first time that monks from different countries have joined together to beg for alms. Begging for alms also gives an opportunity to Buddhist followers to do a virtuous deed when giving food to monks. Sharing what one has is an act of generosity that underlies Buddhist teachings and is a true principle. The Western Christians I first saw them. Many of them were actually the Jangoma monks. Actually, I felt like tears were coming out of my eyes. I was moved and I felt a warm and warm feeling in my heart. I felt like I was crying. At the festival, there were also lectures that allowed people to further learn about the characteristics of different temple foods from different countries. This event was able to take place thanks to the many volunteers among Buddhist followers. William Lee, International Director of World Temple Food Festival, managed to hold the international festival that successfully promoted cultural exchange and Buddhist culture from around the world. Bongyongsa Temple has been known for its famous temple food and temple food festival for the last six years. And we thought that it is time for us to move on to the next level, which is the global level. That's why we decided to have the World Temple Food Festival by inviting 11 different Buddhist countries. And we look forward to um, inviting more different Buddhist countries out there in the world to have even more successful events uh, in the future. This banquet also featured many performances for Buddhist followers as well as the local community that were invited to participate. <laughs> to expand awareness of temple food, a cooking competition was also held with prizes awarded to winners. This year, student nuns at Bongyongsa Sungha University presented award-winning creative chanting performances based on traditional Buddhist rituals. Chamo 
이런 문화가 그러니까 이런 야단 법석이 온 사찰에서도 많이들 좀 이루어졌으면 좋겠어요. First of all, I would like to convey my sincere congratulations uh, to all the organizers and the hosts because this event was most marvelous at all fronts, including the sites, uh, the organizational you know, process, the atmosphere, everything has been really wonderful. And I think the in inclusion of international monks and nuns and guests uh, is extremely pleasing and opens up Korean Buddhism at another frequency to the world. Under the theme of Taste of Nature, Heart of Sharing, the World Temple Food Festival opened with great fanfare. The entire Dharma exists through food, said Buddha. Without food, there is nothing. These teachings show the importance of food. Through Temple Food, Hong Nyong Sa wishes to bring people from Korea and around the world together to experience the teachings of Buddha that emphasize harmony with nature. The tradition of this beautiful festival will continue on.